this is uh, my thinking out loud two. I'm doing one a month. Did one in January, and uh, this will be my February episode about thinking out loud. Let's see. Um, had a pretty light winter here in Pittsburgh, um, early part, you know, October, November. December through Christmas, uh, no snow, little dusting here and there, here or there, and um, then around the middle to end of January, all of a sudden uh, we start getting that um, winter weather that um, we get in the winter time normally. Real cold, um, nice snow, about uh, six, seven inches maybe out here where I live in Pittsburgh, in this area. I'm in the southwest area out near the airport. I'm out near by the airport. Uh, I got about six or seven inches uh, last week. Um, just as it started melting, uh, we got another two or three inches um, between yesterday and today. <coughs> and then on the weather today, um, looks like uh, we're going to get another four to eight inches uh, between Sunday and Monday snow. Uh, along with that, uh, we're having some single digit temperatures with 17 to 20 mile per hour winds that's going to take us to a sub zero wind chill factor. Um, I always just ask myself, what am I doing here? You know, I, I'm not really a winter person. I mean, I was born in the spring, in May, so I'm one of those spring babies. Um, I never really liked snow. Um, winters are kind of depressing to me. It's cold, body aches, roads are treacherous, shovel the snow in the yard, or the driveway ruin your shoes with the salt, vehicle stays dirty. I mean, I have a decent uh, four-wheel drive uh, vehicle, it gets around in the snow, no problem. Um, but it's not that I can't get around. You have to worry about the cars that are on the road, uh, that are riding around there on ball tires, and they slide into you. you know, I mean, no matter how good your four-wheel drive is or how good your tires are, um, if someone else has bad tires or their car doesn't do well in the snow and they slide into you, your four-wheel drive and your good tires don't stop that. You know, and then I, um, I look at, uh, different things on television because, again, it's cold, so you're in the house, you're watching television, so there's a golf event in Phoenix or right now getting prepared for the Super Bowl in um, Arizona and you see this sunny weather and people walking around in shorts and tank tops and here you are here in Pittsburgh wrapped up with scarves and gloves and just wonder what am I doing here um, I tell my wife often that um, when we uh, decide to retire um, that we're going to um, sell the house, sell most of our belongings, and uh, move to a warm climate somewhere where we can or I can just wear shorts and sandals every day um, and just relax in the sun. I, I had enough. I had enough of these winters. Um, and getting up to that age, you know, where we're getting close to those um, retirement years. Um, be 56 this year. Uh, put another four to seven more years in of work. And I will be... Um, old enough to retire, you know, based on the age of 62 to receive full pension. Um, 
but I'm looking to maybe try to escalate this retirement option. Um, so with that said, I'm sitting here, you know, just thinking out loud about what else can I do at this point in my life that will allow me to retire from my traditional nine to five job and move to a climate um, where it's warm and I don't have to deal with these um, cold winters. Uh, you know, we watch this show on, um, I believe it's HGTV. It's called uh, The Caribbean Lifestyle or Caribbean Life on a Budget. And it's these folks who do sort of what I just said. They make a decision to go ahead and make some life-changing decisions around quitting their jobs, selling their homes, selling their... Uh, material possessions, and then buying um, property on one of the Caribbean islands, opening up some kind of small business to sort of subsidize their retirement dollars, and living that Caribbean lifestyle. I tell you, every time I watch that show, and I just go, I just start dreaming, I just start fantasizing. Like, man, wouldn't that be nice? And you know. Um, there are situations sometimes on that show where some of these properties are really reasonable. You know, yeah, you can go ahead and spend a couple million dollars uh, for some beachfront property on some of your more um, popular um, destinations. But there are some other destinations, you know, that I've also seen in the Caribbean where you can get a decent piece of land um, near the beach and uh, comfortable living, you know, at a dollar amount where if we actually did that today, we probably could make that work. And I tell you, when it's, uh, the weather's calling for four to eight more inches of snow and you have a uh, potential minus 10 wind chill factor, those thoughts really start sounding pretty good. So again, just thinking out loud. But what I want to ask you uh, folks, my Facebook and uh, YouTube families. If you were me, 56 years old, four to seven more years of working, at my current pace to reach uh, full retirement, full pension eligible dollars, or had the option to sell all of my material possessions and move to a warmer climate like a Caribbean lifestyle type of um, opportunity, what would you do? Would you stay and work out the balance of your four to seven years to reach your planned full retirement? Or would you change your lifestyle by just selling everything you have and moving to a warmer climate destination like the Caribbean island? or somewhere in the southern part of the country where this types of winters you won't have to um, experience. I tell you, every winter around this time, the idea of moving sounds real, real good. Okay, so we're going to just keep this video a little short. Please. Make your comments below. Let me know what you think. Would you stay? Or would you move?